can get involved in it. You're crazy. Batiste, plus 170. Girona, plus 145. They're not the wrong way round, even though as this clip goes on, you will feel as if they should be. Batiste, plus 100 at home. Draw no bet. I just cannot believe that. Batiste, plus 100 for draw no bet at home. The draw is at plus 262. Batiste, plus 134 to score twice. Um... Oh, Oaks, you've got to go first here because we have been eyeing up this game for a good few weeks that we said we cannot wait for Girona to go to Batiste. Here they are. I sniffed out the number, but it was still wet on the paper. Plus 170, but we might as well just take the plus 100, mightn't we? Yeah, absolutely. That's the move here. This is the game of the week. This is the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. Girona, all they do is get buckets and score goals. They're leaky at the back. They give them up. Batiste at home does not concede. They do not give up goals. They've only given up two the entire season at home. Batiste is a home wagon. And listen, guys, they're not going to come out and say it, but I will. Batiste doesn't care about Europa Conference League. They're going to put their focus back on La Liga. The prize money doesn't move the needle for them. That made-up new competition is nothing. So they're all back in on La Liga, and they know that they need to start climbing the table here because they do deserve to be a Europa and challenging for a Champions League spot team. They have the quality. I talk about it every single week, and I'm going to talk about it again, and I'm going to talk about it again until it stops happening. Isco is playing some of the best football of his entire life outside of a Real Madrid kit. He... That nine months off, when he left Sevilla, completely revitalized him, completely revitalized his career. These older guys that are above 30, getting that kind of time off and feeling fit and playing your way into football shape and still winning man of the matches and losing and your team's losing effort should be absolutely raising alarm bells everywhere. Um Look, I, I think there's goals in this game. I think both teams to score is very much in play. I think that Batiste's defense at home with this crowd behind them is going to be very tough. I think that Batiste do manage to find a winner. I love the number on the over one and a half at plus 134. I love the draw no bet for Batiste at home at plus 100 when they've only given up two all season. Um, it's, it's a must take. And I do like Girona and I do think they're a very good club. So I don't want you guys to get it twisted that I don't respect Girona because I took them on the money line away versus Barcelona. Barcelona was playing bad football. Batiste is playing very good football right now. Yeah, listen, I couldn't agree more. I think that Batiste are too streetwise for Girona. Girona want to get involved in a basketball match. They want to... Listen, is it me or Girona had a really, really comfy, healthy fixture schedule. Because I tell you what, I haven't seen many of these type fixtures. And again, now they're favourites at plus 145. And if they do go there and win, then fair play it is a flashback to like the Leicester uh, going away and just making sure that they just score goals. And if they end up scoring more than the others, they're going to get more points. But Klaus, Batiste, plus 170, plus 100, draw no bet, plus 134 for scoring twice. The plus 134, you don't even care who, who wins. And and that's the thing. That's that's the way I would go here because of the fact that we mentioned it a bunch of times. Girona's a team that it's a good team. Uh, we said it from, from day one. We, we, we've been riding that train as well. But it's also a team that concedes a lot of goals. So Betis usually at home. They're a team that usually hits the back of the net. They did it against Real Madrid, and they've done it most of the times. And if you guys want, uh, you can go ahead and grab your phones or the tablet or whatever you have in front of you and check the last time Betis uh, conceded two goals at home. It's not this year. There is none because they have not conceded two goals this year at home. So what makes me believe that Girona is going to go out there and put, put two goals in the back of the net? Listen, it could happen potentially. Everything can happen in football and soccer. Everything can happen. But... I try to be safe and I try to stick with the statistics sometimes. And Batiste is a very, very strong team at home. Whenever they step away from their home pitch, it's a different story. They tend to not be so strong and solid. But when they play at home, they're a very good team. Me, personally, I'm going to go with a draw. I think this game might end up in a 1-1, maybe a 0-0. I 
Um, very similar to the game that we saw yesterday between Matisse and Real Sociedad, a team that ended up with no goals as well, but it was very well fought, especially in the middle of the field. So I'm going, especially with the, I'm going on this one, I'm going with a draw. I know it's a little risky. We said it a bunch of times when you go with a draw, you're pretty much risking yourself a lot, but I'm going with two draws this, this match week. Uh, this is going to be one of them because I do see both teams splitting a point, even maybe a one, one or a nil, nil. Yeah, don't we? Listen, I don't get that uh, mentality, to be honest, because the draw is just as much a likely outcome as either side going and winning. You know, but it's just, again, I think this is a, like a South American, North American uh, attitude. It's, it, it's a freeway market. Two another goal from Girona. Another goal from Girona. <laughs> hey, 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 we hey, need, that's you, it. Oh, yeah. This was that bet that you hated, wasn't it? I love the fact that I got you on full <laughs> the screen The bet as well. that he hated that's cashing sweat free. <laughs> I exactly. Know. I love that. I love that. That 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 that's why you're here, Klaus. That is exactly why you're here. Um, yeah. So for me, listen, I'm I'm all over Batiste scoring twice. I mean, get plus one thirty five. I'm happy then to throw in the draw no bet. I don't think they get B. I mean, that's a free hit plus one hundred. So let's have a little look at the official picks, please, because it's draw at plus two sixty five. Batiste draw no bet plus 100. Batiste draw bet uh, plus 100. I double dipped and Batiste team total over one and a half at plus 134. So, yeah, I tell you what, 2 2, the team's happy, you know? 